Hey everyone. Today we're gonna do a video on how to do mail merge in Canva. What does that mean exactly? So let's say you have something like a certificate or an envelope where you need to print a lot of names and a lot of different information, but you don't wanna do that manually because imagine here, like I have a certificate of achievement and I have to put the name here for completing training in course. Now, chances are you have an Excel sheet for that, but then you have to take, duplicate a page, put the name in, again, duplicate a page and put the name and the course and keep on doing it. That's very, very manual. But luckily, Canva has a way where you can just automate this process. So you just have to feed in the information and the design and the rest will follow. How do we do that? So the easiest way is to do it with a um, app called Bulk Create. So if you go to apps here, and I already searched for it, so you see it here. And then you take Bulk Create. You have two options. You can either enter your data manually or you can upload your data. They both work in exactly the same way. So if you have an Excel sheet, you just have to upload it. But um, I always do it with a CSV file, but I suppose it works in an Excel, Excel file as well. So I'm just gonna upload the data here, the names and courses. So if I just take this one, names and courses.csv, and now it has recognized that there are two columns in this. This is how my Excel sheet look like. So this is, these are the names and these are the courses. That's all that's there in the sheet. So, and once you upload the CSV file, it recognizes these two columns. So what if we are going to do, and the name of that column, as you see, is name and course. And you see here, it's also name and course. What we will do essentially is just link where the name is going to go. So this field, this element of Canva, to, you see, connect data over here. And the moment you do connect data, you will again see these two fields here. So you say, okay, name goes here. Now it comes in brackets, you see, so the name will be filled in here. And the course, we connect it to course. So all we did was go, we went to the Bulk Create app and we uploaded a CSV file and we just said name, connect the name to the name and the course to the course. Now, if I do continue, then it's telling me create pages based on the data you entered. So Michael, Michael Anderson, Google Digital Marketing, etc., etc. If you want, you can unselect any of these ones that you want. It takes four extra fields. Maybe I had four extra rows in here. But anyway, um, or you can just do select all and all of them will be populated, right? Before I do this and I generate the 24 designs, I also want to show you the manual way. So you can hear it's already connected now, I think. I'm just gonna delete that. Just put name. And just put course. And now I can do enter data manually. You see there's name and I can do course here. Sorry, I can't see. Course. And I'm gonna take my data from here. And I'm just gonna put it there. Right now it's copied the 20 data. Now this you can do manually if it's you know easier for you to copy paste or if you have less number of columns. But if you have a lot of columns and a lot of fields to populate, it would definitely be better to upload a CSV. So I do done. And now I have simply uploaded the data here. I have not connected them yet. And now you see here these two, this is exactly the same that was there when we had the CSV file. So now again, similarly, we do it like this, connect data, connect it to the name, connect data, connect it to course. And then I do continue, it gives me the same option, select all or not. In this case, it has exactly 20 because I uploaded exactly 20 rows. And now I do generate designs. And now a new Canva design opens up and it has all the certificates created for the names and courses I uploaded. You see that? 
that's super smart, right? <laughs> it saves so much time. So that's how you do what is called a mail merge in Canva. We can also do it for any other, um, you know, uh, Canva elements or Canva designs where you want to print uh, specific information. So, for example, I have opened here an, an envelope with a name and course. Now, for this one, I'm, ju I'm just going to keep it name again because it was already named, I think. And this, maybe I do address. Right? So this is just an envelope. I want to create multiple like this. And I want to show you something which is tricky here. So I do apps. And I again go to well, create. Now I upload data. I'm going to upload an Excel file with addresses in it, names and addresses. This is the one. All right. And it has name and address. I'm going to take this one. Connect data to name. Take this one. Connect data to address. Then again, continue. And it has all these names and addresses, and it's going to generate those designs. But watch out what happens here. When I do generate 20 designs, Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, right? Take this example. Now you see the name and the address are overlapping. Why? Because the name field was as the, the, the width of this element was not so big. So when this name does not fit in this size, it automatically takes does, does a wrap and puts it above this other one. So the way to avoid that is to make it as big as possible so the name will fit in over here and will not go do a wrap and cover the address. So watch out for that one because if you have something like this, of course, then you can just adjust it manually. But if you want to avoid any kind of um, manual work at all, then it's just better to prepare these, you know, thing in advance where you give enough space for the field to be populated no matter how big the field is, how big the data is. All right, so that's how you do mail merge in Canva. It is much easier and faster than, of course, doing it manually. But do remember that Bulk Create is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, just and if you want to try it out, just sign up for a 30-day trial. There's a link in the description. And let me know what you think. Thanks and bye.